Hey everybody, so uh, kind of want to talk about HTs uh, and various antenna adapters and everything and uh, there are many options that uh, that you can take if you buy an HT. This is a Bofang UV5R. It's pretty much every modern day beginner radio. Uh, it does its thing. It works out good. This is the stock antenna for a UV5R. Actually, I think this one is a little bit shorter. I have a couple of these. Uh, I'm pretty sure the antenna that came with this is a little bit longer, but I don't know where that is because I never used it. Uh, this one's a little bit shorter, and it, you know, it just threads in there. It looks just like a like a regular HT. Handy talkie is what HT stands for. Walkie talkie is kind of how uh, people know it. Uh, this particular radio came with uh, a stock battery, which cuts it off right there. This is the extended battery. Uh, it also came with an upgraded antenna. This is made by Nagoya. Uh, it's the uh, NA701 VHF UHF. And I use that a lot. It's pretty floppy. You know, it, it does its thing. But it's kind of pokey on the end. So if you get that in your eye, it's going to suck. Uh, whereas if you got the stock antenna in your eye, it would still suck, but probably not as much. Uh, and, of course, I've got the, uh, what is this, uh, PL259 adapter, which is pretty much any UHF antenna uh, connector. It goes from this radio to whatever I want to put on it. And it works pretty good. Uh, it's advertised as 5 watt on high, 1 watt on low. Uh, I've never tested it myself personally, but I've heard that it kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, and I've used it a lot. Uh, I, it's just, it, it does suck, but it does the job. So it it can get you on the air for very inexpensive price. Uh, I think I paid 50 bucks for this radio with the battery, the charger, uh, and of course the stock battery, the stock antenna, and the upgraded antenna they call it uh, yeah like 50 bucks this uh, adapter I think it was uh, I think it was like 30 bucks itself uh, but yet yeah, you know I'm, I'm very happy that I made this purchase at least this you know uh, that was one of my first radios and that was what got me on the air in the very very beginning so you know that was that was a, a thing so the Yezu Yezu is a pretty good brand. Uh, this is a VX6. I believe currently uh, there's a VA, VX8 and above. And everything's kind of going digital. So there, there's a lot of radios that are sort of uh, leaning more towards digital. But uh, this is analog. And I'm not even sure. This might even be digital. I, I really don't know. I guess I should have looked that up. Uh, this is a stock antenna. This is a tri-band radio, even though they sell it as a dual band, because this antenna is not supposed to work on that third band that you have. Uh, two meter, uh, one and a quarter meter, and 70 centimeter, or how we would call it, two meter, uh, 220 and 440. Uh, this antenna does work, and I made a contact probably almost 30 miles away on uh, on 220 so that did work uh, even though it's not supposed to be a 220 antenna it did work and it didn't burn the radio up and uh, this thing still works pretty good uh, this is a PL259 adapter but if you notice it's a lot skinnier very very thin and there's something else different about this adapter that I'll show you here uh, the Bofang takes an SMA. The Yezu takes an SMA. There's an SMA female and an SMA male. Now, if you look at it, it you would say that that was backwards, but it has to do... Can you see what I'm doing? Let's bring this up here. You can see what I'm doing. This is the female. There's a hole right in the center, and this is the male. There's uh, the center conductor sticking out. This, this is the male. If you just look at it and think, okay, that's a male, that's a female, I, everybody would think that, but it's not. It, it's backwards. And actually, these will thread together. 
and they will couple up just like that so there's depending on the kind of radio you got to know what the adapter is or what the uh, antenna is if you're if you're planning on purchasing one of these adapters that little thing is probably I'm gonna say 16 inches long and it is very very thin I I would not trust this to uh, last very long uh, I didn't realize it was gonna be that thin when I made the purchase I would not have made the purchase uh, I can't remember exactly where I got that guy though uh, okay so everybody is your antennas are expensive you've got to you got to take care of them uh, with the bowfang with the extended antenna it's floppy it's pokey but if you bend it too much well the thing's gonna break and of course the Azu it is flexible a little bit but I wouldn't put a whole lot of pressure on that if you break your antenna your radio is pretty much done this antenna I actually just received it today and I've tested it and it does work this is made by diamond uh, it's a quarter wave of two meter and uh, it works very very well but uh, I can do this oh my god what I do now it, they're made to do that you can you can actually roll it up and put it in your pocket uh, you can bend it into whatever shape you need of course that's going to compromise your signal but you know if you bunk your eye with it you're you're probably safe and look that's a question mark that be that means that I have no idea what I'm talking about right there can you see the question mark yeah and, okay that means I have no idea what I'm doing uh, really like this antenna though I've uh, I took it out in the field earlier like I said I just got it today took it out and I walked around and it did it kind of did that me walking around uh, now for receiving of course everything's gonna be compromised by this antenna not being polarized exactly correct straight up and down can you see what I'm doing I'm kind of way out here anyway it's a 19 inch antenna uh, I like it I really like it I have no idea how long me doing this will uh, affect the, the life of the antenna that's a pretty cool little I not gouger router up there uh, but it does work it, and it works a lot better than the, the UV5R uh, with the upgraded Nagoya and uh, the stock antenna for this I haven't tried this yet this uh, this flexible antenna on uh, 220 or 440 I've only tried it on 2 meter uh, it does seem to be a lot better uh, <coughs> excuse me I did try out this. Whoops! Get your ass back up there. I did try out the the adapter here yesterday. Hooked it to uh, a ground plane, a 5 h wave ground plane, and it worked just like uh, like my base radio does. So that was kind of cool. But yeah, with these adapters, you can put any kind of antenna you want on on these little radios. And if you burn them up. You know, you're not really out a whole lot. Uh, I've never tried putting an amp on the uh, on the downside of, of the transmitter. I don't know what would happen with that. Uh, but yeah, someday I will try that. Uh, uh, once I'm a little more educated in this <laughs> in this uh, field. Uh, so yeah. I do like the Bofang's belt clip. Let's see what I'm doing? That belt clip is awesome. It bites onto anything. The Yezu belt clip sucks because it doesn't close all the way. So you put it on your pocket. Okay, you're good. It falls right back off. Now, if you put it on your belt, of course, it does. A little tab in there holds it in place, and uh, you know it, it works. Out. They don't offer an upgraded. Uh, belt clip. I do like the belt clip feature. You don't have to have this on. You can take it off and just use it as a in-pocket sort of deal or whatever. But uh, I do like I do like the belt clip thing. I I carry a firearm with me when I'm out in the field and doing whatever, and I always have my radio with me. Uh, I always hang it on on my belt. So yeah, uh, 
that's about it. And I'm not sure if you can tell in the background there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right there, if it'll focus. General class license manual. That's what I'm working towards. Uh, hopefully within a month I'll be able to be able to get that stuff taken care of. So, anyway folks, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Love, 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 love.